With a yo ho ho, it's Taylor the Toaster. Welcome back to Inner Zoom 11 2 Firestorm. There's a treasure chest right here in the docks, which gets the backslash battle card, which is a different formation. But I'm not alone today. Who am I here with? You are here with Trail Mix Blazer, aka that guy who would not stop making puns during the Inazuma 11 1 LP. In the shopping area, I believe it was. And yeah. also, fellow member of Challenges Approaching, where several people have made Inazuma 11 segments, such as Stuart Vanguard and Ricardo DiRigo and Zeus Jr. Hi! So, mm. wow, we're straight here on the submarine. There's no real cause to mess around, we can just get right on with it. <laughs> My, how you've grown, Evans, Jude, Doc. What? You're not going to call me Coach? That hurts. What are you planning, Doc? <laughs> you cannot begin to comprehend my plans. Why? You don't even realize the true purpose of Redux. If you hadn't deserted me when you did, Jude, you would understand. I didn't desert you. I just refuse to follow your orders anymore. Doc, what is your connection with Alias Academy? Charmed to meet you too, Lena, isn't it? Well, let me see. I suppose you could say that Alias's Emperor is lending me his power. Emperor? What are you talking about? He means Alias is boss, doesn't he? Let's not get bogged down in the details. Let me give you a little gift instead. Here, have your worthless so-called friends back. Yeah, yeah, come on, get a move on. I feel sorry for you, poor things. Lady Judy send you to your doom all over again. Oh, hey, are you okay? <laughs> I was just playing with them, and look what happened. Useless, aren't they? No wonder Judy washed his hands of them. You, you'll pay for this. David, Joseph, snap out of it. You, you will play as Jude? I want you to feel what it is to be you, to have everything. David, have they completely brainwashed you? There's no way I'm losing this match. I'm not going to be humiliated in front of... Ooh. Let's get this party started. This should be a blast, Judy. I'll get you, Caleb, and you, Dark. Your plans end here, once and for all. And here we go! Dialogue's done. Let's have a quick look at the formation and bios. Woohoo! Rhyme on, rhyme on, rhyme on. <laughs> I guess. Really, really curious to have a Royal Academy rematch, because they, they were such pivotal team in the original Inazuma 11, and now they've come back in a completely new form. Only two of the team members were actually on the original Royal Academy, that being the story-relevant Samford and King, but King is their goalkeeper, so we'll be seeing more than enough of him, I'm sure. Who would you like to have me up front on Strike Force? Oh! Let's see, it's been a long time since I played in Azuma 2. Um, I will say this is one of my favorite battles in the entire game, uh, for many of the reasons you said. Okay, uh, you got Kevin up front. Who's the other striker? Uh, a recruiter. Gotcha. I think, to be honest, we got to have Jude up front, really. This is his match. That's true. Uh, what is Nathan doing on the bench? Biding his time. Fine, move him <laughs> there. Sorry, Milford, you're having one off. Can't can't abandon Banyan on his, his very first match with us. 
<laughs> Looking uh, through the Royal Redux bios, they look pretty mad. They've got the Joker on the team. <laughs> and a completely scarred king. That guy looks as the saddest he can be. <laughs> Lee Bamboo, that's the captain, Caleb Stonewall. He can knock the stuffing out of the fiercest of players, and indeed he's been scaring me for the past three episodes with his very open-eyed expression. You know, Stonewall honestly kind of looks like Harry Potter except with no glasses and less hair because of the Just lightning bolt. Got a lightning bolt on his face. It's not even the right colour. Go straight away for a wyvern crash, see if we can get an opening shot on Inazuma 2. I know that in all the matches I do in this Let's Play, I do seem to be going for a goal immediately, but playing over, playing tens of hours on this game, I have kind of learned a trick. Just pass along the left, eventually you'll get it to your striker, and clearly we can't score anyway, because Beast Fang is the best. So what so we just learned from this nil -nil. is that going along the left side is not the right thing to do. I mean, it still wore down his TP. It's a, it, it was a shot. Doesn't <laughs> but... matter. It still wasn't the right thing to do. Let's try out our new recruit, Banyan. <laughs> no, he's so poor of a defender, he got beat out by one of the weakest dribbling moves Whoa, in the game. Banyan, he got suck. a kick. David, that move is forbidden! Yeah, for some reason a shot about covering your feet in red penguins is forbidden. This is <laughs> racist sense. against penguins. David! And they've actually got a goal on us. That's like the first time since Alias Academy that there's been a required goal upon us. Of course not. Don't you get it? If you do that move again, your body will... Losers have no reason to live. I will use Emperor Penguin number one as many times as it takes to ensure our victory. With this move, I'm as good as you. Better even. I'm going to reach a new level of skill and power that you can only dream of, David. Emperor Penguin number one is incredibly powerful. But why does it hurt Samford when he uses it? Why is it forbidden, Jude? Why do you tell him not to do it again? Emperor Penguin number one is a move that Ray Dark developed himself. It fills all the muscles in the body with a destructive force. Using it twice in one game would push a player's body to its absolute limit. If someone were to try using it a third time, they would limit break. Genko no Kairu! Oh, I never played oh, football! The cloud <laughs> says. It hurts! Because Cloud's not OP, am I right? He'd probably <laughs> use Emperor Penguin number one. Beats me! Boo, I worry! Keep up the good work, Dave! <laughs> No. What kind of weirdo risks their life for a game of football? There's something seriously wrong with this lot. That's probably right. the first sensible thing that Banyan has said this entire game. He's done his bit. <laughs> <laughs> he failed. We're kicking him off now. It's very appropriate to be having a match all about Jude today because literally just today I watched Celio 78910's new countdown top video games, top Beatles references in video games. Link to that in the description. Still can't afford why when Crash Dragon Crash will have to do. <laughs> Whether Jude in this game is meant to reference the Beatles or not, I've no clue, but 
It's what comes to everyone's mind, let's be honest. <laughs> so we've got I to mean... actually score two goals in order to be able to win this, but we've got our first goal already because the Beast Fang just didn't work as well this time for some reason. Yes, did you see that? I, g I don't know whether the first use of Beast Fang was a story required stop or just because it's similar to Emperor Penguin number one in that using it more than twice is strenuous to the body, but either way, we got a goal. I ain't complaining. Goal! Forgot to say that earlier. Of course, I can't even remember what match you did that in, in the last Kokom. Wasn't it the Otaku match? That's what you were here for, you were here for Otaku. Now this time you get a decidedly more serious match. Mm. But the, the, the word, this was one you particularly wanted to do. So Jude, being the hero, stopping the ball just before it makes it to the net. Oh, he didn't stop it, but he slowed down the ball, so Mark should be able to stop this pretty comfortably. Uh, you saved we were, my shot. We were about to lose yet another player there. <laughs> ah, I'll score next time. But he's already done the same move twice. We've got to stop him. There's no way he can survive another. I, I, I wasn't kidding when I said... This move is more, this match is more serious than Otaku. A player could die out here. <laughs> more big. It's been, it's been required through Kevin's text that we have to have Sean in defense here, but I kind of had him in defense anyway. Just because, I don't know, I, I think it's nice getting to see him in his normal form. I haven't needed to use Aiden in a while, but even though we needed Sean in defense, we've just kind of carried on up the field anyway. Yeah. Oh. Uh, that should be a foul. And of course that it's not. That move! <laughs> that move! One of the most violent moves in Inazuma 11 history is awful. Breakthrough 2. Good God. <laughs> not a foul, of course. Of course not, because the fouls in Inazuma are always rigged against you. What's wrong with these two? I thought they were supposed to be from the mighty Royal Academy. They're rubbish! Captain in this rabble isn't easy, is it, Judy? Don't even think of comparing yourself to Jude. You're right. There's no way I should be comparing myself to a loser like that. I'm one of a kind. And there's no way I'm losing this match. It doesn't matter what happens to those two chumps. Victory is all that counts. What is wrong with him? Coach, we have to abandon the match. No, we can't pull out. But Coach, those are my orders. Right, so we're just gonna allow Samford to die, basically. <laughs> we're good friends, right? Yeah, Jude didn't abandon this team for his own benefit. No, he's a wonderful friend. Are you watching, Hillman? This'll be Ryman's annihilation and my rebirth. <laughs> Doc, as your love for football becomes so warped, I pity you. It's a reminder that Hillman is watching because this chapter is called Grudge Match Hillman vs. Doc. And yeah, he just, he just gets a few lines of dialogue. He's not even actually coaching us. It's still in Lena's hands. Which I don't understand. Hillman clearly is the better coach here. Ugh, I'm not going to get into that rant now, though. <laughs> and Snake is the next player to just get absolutely mullered by Stonewall. But this time, deservedly, it's a foul. Where's Snake? <laughs> he's he's far too high up. I'll just I'll just try and kick the ball up manually. Well, that didn't guess, go very well at all. I guess Snake isn't that solid after all. <laughs> and we're gonna get kicked in the chest again. This is all this team wants to do. You said you liked this match. It's horrible. 
Because this match is not full of aliens. That's why. The foul. It, the breakthroughing has kind of worked in our favour, though, because they kept getting fouls, and now we're allowed to go for a shot, which of course has to come from Jude. It couldn't be more appropriate. But will it score? I mean, most likely. But will it score? Yes, it will. In it goes. Goal! <laughs> so with Max. Not participating, who would be your favourite member of Ryman on the team at the moment? <laughs> um, I have a couple favourites. Um, I've always kind of liked Mark. Um, Nathan's cool. Uh, some of the new characters in this game I like, others um, I'd rather not speak about. Uh, I really like Tori, I really like Sean, he's pretty cool. No, Kevin! Oh, oh, oh no, another player went down. It's not like we haven't seen this before. What the? Kevin! Are you crazy? <laughs> I was hoping I'd look cooler when I did that. Oh, Kevin! <laughs> Still can't get it in, Samford. Well, you just have to try again, then. You're insane. G uh, uh, please, David, stop it. Is that all you've got? You really are a waste of space. Oh, well, we'll just have to carry on without him. We'll win. That's all that matters. You took the words out of my mouth. You'll pay for this, Dark. And so, Kevin, he's still running around on the pitch, but he's lost all his stamina. After taking a ball to the chest like that, he would do. Speaking of attacks to the chest, that's the second attack on Snake now. I mean, Snake Gotta... is taking two balls to the chest now. Come on, Kevin, up your game. That, that, yeah, it's double. It's Snake Eyes in terms of balls to the chest. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for a rainbow arc with Tori, just to clear it into the other side of the pitch. It won't necessarily go in, but we just need to focus on defence now. We've got the win, hopefully. Not using Wrath Shot as a block. I believe that might have been the first move we ever actually saw in the original Inazuma 11. Royal Academy used that move in their game against us before all the stuff like Death Zone. To rip us apart. It might have I can't been. I see Kevin. Did, I honestly don't remember. It's been a long time since I've played in Azuma. Yeah, and it's been less than a year since I finished LPing it. Oh no, is he going to take a shot? We can't let the Joker go for it. He's probably very competent. <laughs> I'm Batman! <laughs> Just imagining Milford being Batman. <laughs> that stupid <laughs> kid with glasses. I'm Batman. I'm the defense <laughs> scan. I'm the hero that Rhymon needs, but not the one it deserves. <laughs> I missed my chance to see Batman vs. Superman in the cinema. I really wanted to see it for a laugh, just to hear the line, Learn how to be a man. But by the time I actually got to the cinema, it was gone, so I just had to watch the Angry Birds movie instead. Which oh, was arguably you poor worse. Soul. Also, go! Yeah, very well done, Tori. Come on, <laughs> Janus. The aliens are on our side. Beat up just the general twat. No, the, well, I suppose it's not too bad seeing it. Janus get a kicking. He kind of deserves it. Yeah, he kind of does. <laughs> But regardless, his, his sacrifice was not in vain because it held off Caleb until our victory. Coming for you! 
Seeing what just happened must be enough to make even you realize, Dark. You can't blindly chase victory at any cost. Sometimes the price is too high. Don't you have even an ounce of sympathy for your players? <laughs> sympathy? What use do I have for sympathy? Sympathy is utterly irrelevant in football. It's a sign of weakness, and the weak have no place on the pitch. Your grandfather learned that the hard way, Evans. Oof! Very harsh. Yeah. He is kind of a dead man. I can't uh -huh. believe how pathetic those Royal Academy losers were. There's no place for weaklings like that on the team, eh, hey, coach? The only loser around here is you, Stonewall. Y you what? I asked you to bring me the finest players. But this team are a bunch of second-rate amateurs. Apart from the Joker, he's got very good evil plans. <laughs> what? Did you think I didn't see through your little scheme? Yeah, totally revealed. Caleb Stonewall wanted to beat Ryman to be recruited by the aliens. I mean, he's pretty pale, but Caleb is a human. So don't know what he's going for there exactly. Snake's got a new move, Cross Drive. I mean, in Stonewall's defense, he already kind of looks the part. Look! Detective Smith, what are you doing here? Seymour told me where you were, but never mind that. Doc, there's nowhere to run this time. Smith, fool, you've arrived just in time to meet your doom. What? <laughs> what did you do? Well, that doesn't sound positive. He's sinking the ship! Blast! There's only one thing for it! Everybody run! Go! Oh, well that's <laughs> a real downer. Yeah, we, we just kind of got off <laughs> quite <laughs> safely. Where's Jude? What? Oh no, Jude's still on there! All this checking! Ah! Sean, what's wrong? I've got to find Jude! And then Mark foolishly runs back onto a sinking ship. <laughs> He's smart. <laughs> you win, Doc. You've broken David and Joseph's spirit. Are you satisfied now? Satisfied? Not even close. I won't be satisfied until I have created the greatest team ever. Except you're probably off back to prison, mate. Would you like to know what my finest creation has been to date? What? You. Huh? Jude, we've got to go! That line really confused me when I first played this game. It made me think Jude was a robot created by Dark. <laughs> but he's not, he is a human. But um, never mind what I said about going back to prison. He's uh. just kind of dead instead. <laughs> Yeah, uh, forget about forget about prison. Um, instead, it looks like he's uh, going to hell. <laughs> yeah, in Azuma Eleven One, all we did is beat his team and go to pr send him to prison. In Azuma Two, we have him killed, and that's not even the main storyline this time, as the main focus is the aliens. Actually, talk wait. about a step up. Actually, wait, no, we don't know if he's dead or not. Because, unless you see the body, he's not dead. I suppose so. It was a huge explosion, but you can never quite tell with fiction. But I'll be exactly. fine. I'll be right as rain in no time. 
Sorry, Kevin, but there's no way I'm letting you play in your condition. Everyone will be so busy worrying about you, they won't be able to play properly. You're out, for the sake of the team. Well, if it's for the sake of the team... Okay. Kev! Sorry, but she's right. It can't be helped, Sean. It's up to you now, Mr. Superstar Striker. I think I really am going to have to stop using Defender, Sean, for now. <laughs> we? Oh, you, you mean you and Axel, eh? Yeah. I wanted to look after the team until he came back. But it looks like I'm going to have to leave that to you now. Don't you worry, Kev. You'll not be sorry. Mom, now you'll be back soon, Kevin. We'll be waiting for you. And that's the second departure of the game. Axel gone, Kevin gone. So you'd sacrifice anything and anyone to put together the strongest team, just like my father. You should have abandoned the match, Lena. It's a coach's responsibility to protect the players, and that includes the players on the other team. I take full responsibility for what happened to those players. But you saw what happened to Kevin because of your decision. Can you promise that won't happen again? What else was I supposed to do? We have to win, no matter the what the cost. That's the kind of war we're fighting here. And there I was thinking this war was about protecting people. Is this really the result you wanted? What pushes you to such extremes? I have to go. One more thing. You're not done? Do you still have the necklace they tried to make the boy wear? Do you mind if I take it with me? I'd like to take it somewhere it can be analysed properly. Something wrong? You're going to analyse it? Or is there some reason you don't want people looking at it? It's fine. Here. I'll be off then. As will we, because that's the end of the chapter. <laughs> We'll see you in the next episode to start chapter six. Again, six. I stress, why is she the coach when he was there the whole time? Oh, he's so busy investigating. But why shouldn't... She, why isn't she investigating instead of him? Ah, oh, plot holes. Oh, hey! Number four, number seven top politician in gaming is back, and Plug. the other Smith <laughs> didn't expect to be cutting to you, Prime Minister. Prime Minister, we've delivered the report you requested to your office. Thank you, Stevens. A report, sir? Yes, there's something that's been bothering me. It was a tragic incident. A few years ago, a young boy died when he was playing football overseas. There were rumours that he'd been killed because he was mixed up in some kind of trouble, but, strangely, no one was ever arrested or charged with a crime. The boy's surname was Schiller. I wondered if he might be related to a certain other Schiller we know. Astrum Schiller, sir? The head of the Schiller group? The very same. I seem to remember Schiller being caught up in some international trouble around the time of the boy's death. He hasn't made a public appearance since. I'm sure there's a connection between the two incidents. There has to be. Master, Ray Dark and Royal Academy Redux have been defeated, but please do not be concerned. You see, our next plan is already in motion. Ha! At last, it's time for the main event. Shh. 
Now let me ask you, Wiles. Yes? Don't you think outer space is a marvelous thing? Indeed. After all, we know so little about it, do we not? to Osaka on the hunt for the alias base and discover it in the most unlikely place. Find out more in all the fun of the fair. It's training time.